Slide 1. Welcome to Health Management Information Systems, Patient Monitoring Systems. This is Lecture A. The component Health Management Information Systems is a theory component that provides an introduction to healthcare applications and the systems that use them, health information technology standards, health-related data structures, and enterprise architecture in healthcare organizations. Lecture A offers a definition of patient monitoring systems, describes the purpose, attributes, and functions of patient monitoring systems, discusses the primary applications and how automation can improve quality of care, and analyzes how the integration of data from many sources assists in medical decision making. Slide 2. The objectives for this unit, Patient Monitoring Systems, are to Describe the purpose, attributes, and functions of patient monitoring systems. Discuss ways in which automation can improve the quality of patient care. Analyze how the integration of data from many sources assists in making clinical decisions. Slide 3. Additional objectives for this unit, Patient Monitoring Systems, are to Discuss how telehealth communication technologies support clinical care. Discuss the effectiveness and economic benefit of telehealth. And examine how smart technology in the home and remote links to health information systems can enhance the quality of patient care. Slide 4. The World Health Organization defines e-health as, quote, the combined use of electronic communication and information technology in the health sector, end quote, WHO, no date, paragraph 1. A subdivision of eHealth is mHealth. The mHealth Alliance defines mHealth as, quote, the practice of medical and public health through the usage of mobile devices. This commonly refers to using PDAs and mobile phones for health services, data collection, treatment support, and information dissemination, end quote, mHealth Alliance, 2010b. The M Health Alliance, hosted by the United Nations, UN Foundation, and founded by the Rockefeller Foundation, Vodafone Foundation, and UN Foundation, is a nonprofit coalition dedicated to engaging the M Health community in order to advance the use of mobile technologies for health. M Health Alliance, 2010A. Slide 5. According to Rosemary Nelson, chair of the M HIMS Task Force, the most common M Health technologies in use include, quote, mobile phones, smartphones, personal digital assistants, PDA, palm top computer or personal data assistant, wireless tablet computers, wearable wireless biosensors and or wireless chronic disease monitoring devices. M Health applications, apps, which are software loaded on any one of the above mobile devices that aid in collecting community and clinical health data, delivery of healthcare information to practitioners, researchers and patients, real-time monitoring of patient vital signs, and direct provision of care, end quote. Nelson, 2012, paragraph 2. Lecture A will focus on patient monitoring systems. Slide 6. Gardner and Shabbat provides definitions for a patient monitor and patient monitoring. A patient monitor is, quote, an instrument that collects and displays physiological data, often for the purpose of watching for and warning against life-threatening changes in physiological state, end quote. Gardner and Shabbat, 2006, page 969. Slide 7. Gardner and Shabbat defines patient monitoring as, quote, repeated or continuous measurement of physiological parameters for the purpose of guiding therapeutic management, end quote. Slide 8. Patient monitoring systems can serve a number of purposes. They include providing data to assist providers with diagnostic decisions and therapeutic choices. Patient monitoring systems can also help the patient, caregiver, and the provider make more informed decisions. Care delivery is improved with the use of patient monitoring systems as the data can trigger alarms or alerts, prompting provider intervention with the potential then to improve health outcomes. Some specific purposes for patient monitoring devices used in the intensive care unit, ICU, are, quote, to acquire physiological data frequently or continuously, such as blood pressure readings, 
to communicate information from data producing systems to remote locations, for example, laboratory and radiology departments. To store, organize, and report data. To integrate and correlate data from multiple sources. To provide clinical alerts and advisories based on multiple sources of data. To function as a decision-making tool that health professionals may use in planning the care of critically ill patients. To measure the severity of illness for patient classification purposes and to analyze the outcomes of ICU care in terms of clinical effectiveness and cost effectiveness. End quote. Gardner and Shabbat, 2006, page 589. Slide 9. Historically, patient monitoring systems were stationary systems, such as bedside monitors, that collected, stored, and presented patient data with little data interpretation. To accomplish this, a monitoring instrument, microcomputer, communication protocol, and patient monitoring software application were required. The data collected was either stored for later downloading to a physician's workstation for analysis and diagnosis, or routed to a central station where nurses could monitor the information. With advancements in information technology, patient monitoring systems now involve data interpretation and the use of information exchange protocols for data integration. According to Wang, Cohane, Bradshaw, and Fackler, there are four components of knowledge-based monitoring systems. Quote, the data acquisition component includes modules for retrieving patient data from all sources, for example, continuous patient signals, equipment functions, intermittent data. The presentation component includes modules for presenting the data and their interpretations. The database component is responsible for storing and retrieving the data. These three components are also called traditional components of a knowledge-based monitoring system. The fourth component, the intelligent component, contains inference engines and knowledge bases. Its functionality is to interpret the data. More formally, the intelligent component is a function from the patient data to a set of conclusions about the patient." End quote. Wang, Cohane, Bradshaw, and Fackler. No date. Paragraph 1. Slide 10. A patient monitoring system is about monitoring, whether the monitoring takes place on-site or remotely. The system captures raw physiological data, transmits it, and then communicates it for action on the part of a patient, caregiver, or healthcare provider. Patient monitoring systems may involve data interpretation and the use of information exchange protocols. Depending on the data being monitored and its purpose, the display of the data may vary. For example, a patient monitoring device in the intensive care unit capturing vital signs would sound an alarm should a life-threatening event be detected. Other types of data might be displayed in charts, tables, or graphs. Next will be a discussion on the primary applications and how automation can improve quality of care. Slide 11. There are patient monitoring systems internal to the hospital infrastructure. There are also remote patient monitoring systems for use in other locations, such as the patient's home. Some of the more common primary applications for patient monitoring systems are found in the hospital's intensive care unit, critical care unit, operating suites, and recovery rooms. These locations utilize various instruments to monitor a variety of physiological data, such as heart rates or vital signs. However, more and more patient monitoring devices are being used to collect, process, communicate, and display data on less seriously ill patients in other locations within the hospital. A recent trend is the use of remote patient monitoring systems, such as a home monitoring system. Each of these applications will be discussed in the next few slides. Slide 12. A patient monitoring system is a critical piece in the intensive care unit, critical care unit, operating suite, or recovery room. It allows continuous monitoring of a patient, with nursing staff being continuously informed of the changes in the condition of a patient. An example would be a bedside monitor. Having this type of system in place results in improved quality of care by strengthening the caregiver's clinical expertise through the quick translation of physiological parameters into clinical information so that even slight changes in a patient's vital signs are detected and treated. By doing so, the risk of mortality decreases. 
Slide 13. A patient monitoring system can also be used in other locations in the hospital, for example, in respiratory therapy, outpatient care, radiology, catheterization labs, and gastroenterology departments. An outcome of patient monitoring in these locations would be the provision of a clear view of patient data to facilitate early diagnosis and timely decisions resulting in better patient management. The data from the system, for example, could reduce the risk of infection and other complications through frequent monitoring of the patient's status, facilitating medical decisions by healthcare providers. Slide 14. The final application to consider is patient monitoring, which focuses on remote patient monitoring, RPM. This is a big growth area for patient monitoring and is receiving an influx of funding to advance the technology. Recently, grant dollars were provided to five organizations for RPM technology projects. These grants are expected to, quote, demonstrate how RPM improves the quality and efficiency of chronic disease management and post-acute care of older adults. RPM includes a wide variety of technology, such as point-of-care monitoring devices, weight scales, glucometers, implantable cardioverter defibrillators, and blood pressure monitors, which become part of a fully integrated health data collection, analysis, and reporting system between the devices, patients, and clinicians." End quote. Center for Technology and Aging, 2010, paragraph 1 and 5. Remote patient monitoring is expected to reap big benefits from not only an improved quality of care perspective, but also from cost savings. The Center for Technology and Aging, 2010, states, quote, the U.S. healthcare system could reduce costs by nearly $200 billion during the next 25 years if RPM tools were utilized to care for patients with congestive heart failure, CHF, diabetes, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and chronic wounds or skin ulcers, end quote, paragraph 3. In general, RPM allows patients, caregivers, and healthcare providers to better track patient conditions, medication regimen adherence, and follow-up scheduling. There is greater compliance with treatment plans. Patients themselves are also found to be more engaged in managing their own care. For example, as Schindel, 2010, explains, quote, the great thing about these devices is that once implemented correctly, they allow physicians to maintain an even higher standard of care. Rather than keep tabs on patients sporadically, as their office visitation schedules allow, those who offer the option of remote monitoring can essentially track their patients' health at all times. Not only is this a far more convenient alternative for patients, but it also lends to a certain degree of peace of mind, particularly in those who are elderly or chronically ill. End quote. Paragraph 2. Slide 15. This is an image of the MedApps HealthPal, a gateway device that uses wireless or wired connectivity and mobile-to-mobile -mobile cellular technology to collect and transmit health readings from medical monitors. It is shown with a glucometer. Slide 16. A white paper on healthcare data integration states, quote, data integration, the automated aggregation and consolidation of information from a variety of disparate systems and sources across sites of care, inpatient, ambulatory, home, across domains, clinical, business, operational, and across technologies, text, video, images, is the holy grail of healthcare information technology, end quote. Impact Advisors, 2008, page 3. One technology identified in the report that has been a catalyst in the call to improve data integration is the increased use of home monitoring devices. Integrating clinical data, quote, improves communication and information sharing among sites of care, offers a richer picture of the patient's overall health and health history, reduction of redundant tests, procedures, etc., reduction of costs for resources, staff labor, interfaces, paper information relay, provides for the timely consumption of patient data for physicians, may tighten the strategic bonds between hospitals and community physicians. End quote. Impact Advisors, 2008, page 3. Slide 17. Patient monitoring systems can be integrated using wireless technology, where the physiological data from the patient monitoring system is incorporated with clinical data from other sources. 
Integrating data from many sources and having systems with algorithms that help put into context the vast amount of data collected provides guidance in patient management and assists in medical decision making by accelerating the flow of critical information, making complete health information more readily available, supporting improved clinical decision making through availability of knowledge derived from data integration and analysis, and supporting delivery of coordinated and collaborative care. According to Bunock, 2007, quote, the end result of any patient monitoring product is information. How this information is used for the patient's benefit does vary, but the end result is the same. Patient monitoring devices produce information. This information can be utilized simply to warn the healthcare giver of an immediately impending event, or it could be stored in the patient's medical record for a more long-term diagnosis. As a result, hospital information management and patient monitoring are inescapably intertwined, directly affecting each other." End quote. Paragraph 1. However, there are potential privacy concerns such as the lack of HIPAA protection to self-monitoring programs and the need for patients to secure the devices they are using to upload information. Slide 18. This concludes Lecture A of Patient Monitoring Systems. This lecture defined eHealth, mHealth, patient monitoring systems, described the purpose, attributes, and functions of patient monitoring systems, looked at common primary applications for patient monitoring systems, discussed ways in which remote patient monitoring systems can improve the quality of patient care, and reviewed how the integration of data from patient monitoring devices assists in making clinical decisions.